at the time of this video, Elden Ring released two years ago to the day, and with the Shadow of the Erdry DLC on the horizon, I wanted to go back and find out what the original release of Elden Ring was like to play. This is the first version publicly available before the day one patch and is only obtainable by getting a disc version of the game and not updating it. And this is what it's like. So this is the original, like first release copy of Elden Ring. So I guess characters first. I assume these are all the same. Wait, intelligence, sir. Isn't this Confessor in the final game? Uh, okay. So straight away the UI is very different. Fuck. Okay, and Limgrave. Is Tree Sentinel any different? So I don't know how much of this I'm gonna do, but I kind of want to do all remembrances. Cool hitbox. Have a smithing stone shard. Okay, slightly different name. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, that's useful, isn't it? You can buy cookbooks without knowing what they actually do. You know what? I'll take your cookbook lottery. What should I do first? Oh, hello, Knight's nice Cavalry. Wait, there's no boss health bar. He's definitely a boss in the final release. Fair enough. There should be a somber one here. Or not. Okay, yeah, so item placements are just going to be whack. Also, I killed that dude with four unsheaths. Okay, let's start just by going to Margit. Is he changed? I suck. Oh my god. Wait, hold on, I suck. Wait, hold on a second. This is Melania's music. Okay. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> I fucking suck. Okay, round table hold. The twin husks just have absolutely nothing. Okay, get out of here. Still got a talisman pouch. And I only got 8k instead of 12. Okay, let's just go into Godric. I wonder if he has anything different about him. I stagger. I assume he's gonna go into his next phase. And another bleed. Okay, he's basically dead. He's basically dead. Fuck. Oh, he has an extra voice line. I didn't mean to get killed there, but I guess we found a new voice line. There we go. Wait, where's the teleporter? <laughs> Wait. Oh, is it down there? What the fuck is it doing down here? Ragged armor. Does he sell this in the normal game? Okay, apparently this doesn't even exist in the normal game. What's it look like? Yeah, I'm going to be honest, I can kind of see why it isn't in the normal game. It looks like fucking dog shit. I really need to pick a weapon. Okay, we've made it to Leonia. Okay, yes, so I think I want to use Sonaf. Which kind of means doing Volcano Mana to get enough runes. Also, there's no merchant here. So I guess no lantern for me. Also, I've only just noticed that like your momentum when dismounting Torrent... You just kind of hit a wall. You, you just kind of hit a wall and stop. Oh wait, I completely forgot about this. We can get Icewind Tatchet. Wait, this is going to be busted as well. Icewind Tatchet... Sonaf? Did they move it or is it not in this version? I guess no Icewind Tatchet. Okay, yeah, Sombers are just gone. Okay, Volcano Mana. Oh, come on. 
There we go. And I am going to do a glitch here. Because I do not have the equipment to fight Godskin Noble. So uh, I'm going to quit out. And now, if I get as far away from the fog wall as possible and enter. See how he hasn't started attacking me? And there we go. I'm in the arena with Godskin Noble and he does not know about it. Yep, there he is. Yeah, the effect on this looks very different. Anyway, Rykard. What was that? This seems like pretty standard phase one Rykard. One more jump attack. And on to phase two. Let's go. Recusant Shardbearer. He is not the Lord of Blasphemy. He has a completely different name. I kind of like this name. I don't know which one suits him better, to be honest. Okay, I'm waiting for him to do his like massive skull attack. I know he's going to do his serpent shit. Oh, come on. He was one hit away. And this bloody skull just hit me. There we go. Remembrance of the Recusant. Okay, I kind of want to try something. So Taunt falls into that death plane. I am still here. And now here comes the fun part. If I summon Torrent, and everything looks the same, right? Every, everything looks normal. But now, let me just walk up here. And gravity no longer applies. And so, we're going to get through Karya Manor very quickly. And let's get Sonaf. So enough only needs 12 int and faith. Okay, full send Sonaf. Wait, I've just had another idea. We can go for the full, like, speedrun setup. Let's put determination on my Uchi Gitana. Okay, this is going to be a lot of fun. This dog is not going to know what hit it. We have pre nerf Sword of Night and Flame with determination which is also bugged on this patch and increases your damage by 40%. Okay, maybe using it on the dog wasn't such a good idea. There's determination and Sonaf. That was underwhelming. I think it's because it's a magic dog. It's because it's a magic dog, that's more like it. Oh my god. That just melts. Yeah, I wasted the, like, unnerfed Omega Damage, like, Sonaf reveal on the Magic Resistant boss. Okay, there we go. And yeah, this courtyard was definitely easier to get through than it was in the Ulradan run. Okay, time for the second showcase of the OP Magic Damage weapon on the most Magic Resistant boss. I'm assuming this fight isn't any different. So I think I'll use Sonaf for like a couple more bosses, but I don't want to use it the entire run. Okay, this seems a lot worse in like one than it is in 1.02. I don't know if it's just because of how much int I have. What the fuck? Okay, this should finish him off. Perfect. Okay, but this is the most important check in 1.0. The most important check possible. Millicent exists. Well, that's all that mattered. I, th I think we can, uh, we can stop playing now. Did I pick up the Lord Swan's Great Sword at the beginning? Uh, I don't think I did. I can go and get it and we can try it out. Lord Swan's Great Sword. 
Okay, I don't know what its moveset is in the current game, but I'm assuming it's not that. That looks very different. Do they have this moveset for any other weapon in the current game? I actually kind of want to try this now. Oh, it's like a DS2 moveset. Interesting. I, I just have Glintstone Pebble on a longsword. Okay, it has no range though. Magma Worm Mackle. <laughs> okay, we have Mackle, not Makar. Mackle. What the fuck is Mackle as a name? Well, see, so yeah, this is what Sonaf is supposed to do. That's the Sonaf I know and love. Wait, hold on. He's playing Fortisax's theme. But the music is Fortisax's. I was not aware Landsax could stand up like that. And I'm dead. Okay, I'm just gonna leave you be for now. Okay, into the festival. This is going to be pre-nerf Radan. Oh god. Oh, it's Melania's music as well. What the fuck? I assume Melania's music is just a placeholder? Ow. Okay, Sonaf isn't really doing anything. <laughs> I don't think the Sonaf thing has gone as planned. It's not as strong as version 1.02. Okay, Meteor time. Where the f- Where the fuck did he come from? <laughs> I heard absolutely no sound effect there. Fuck. But why are you fucking emoting? The dude's killed me like twice so far. And I'm like emoting on him. Okay, now where the fuck is he gonna come from? Okay, he's coming up there. Melania's music for this fight is pretty canonically accurate, I have to say. Okay, come on, please finish him off. Okay, that hit me. There we go. We're darn down. Oh, and the sky just immediately changed back. Okay, I think that's so naff done. So let's get rid of that. If I want to level this up, I probably need to go and get all the bell bearings, don't I? Okay, watch this skip. Watch this skip. Fuck. Watch this skip. Fuck. Fuck. Watch this skip. Watch this skip. Watch this skip. After all that, I fucking missed. Hold on. <laughs> Technical difficulties. The fuck. <laughs> fuck. Okay, let, let's pretend there's no skip there. You know, I was actually just joking. There isn't actually a skip there. Oh, I forgot about this as well. Smithing stones in this patch are so ridiculously expensive. A smithing stone one, the base smithing stone costs 800 runes each. Okay, there we go. That also sounds different. Okay, I swear in the final version there's one here, but there isn't in this version. I'm not being dumb, right? Like, it isn't actually here. Like, I could always go down to Lower Shuffer and see if it's down there. Okay, well, let's go down and get the, uh... Fuck. Oh, is it this? Wait, is this it? What the fuck is it doing down here? Yeah, that's the one for Eagle Ancestor. And Malchus Scar Seal also has been replaced. Okay, let's play the game of whose music will it be? 
It's actually Regal Ancestors. Ow. Okay, I actually suck. He seems to be using all of the, like, spirit animal attacks a lot more frequently. Oh, and he's doing it again. Okay, that should be GG. He didn't really seem changed other than seeming to use the spirit attacks more often. Okay, gargoyles. This is probably going to be bad. I'm going to come back to this later. <laughs> Also, this is called Out All Spectre Wood, and I'm not going to get the repost. Okay, please still drop the talisman. Oh, he drops Scar Seal in 1.0. Okay. Rani. Okay. We are into Lanedale. Okay, there is one thing here that I want to do more than anything else. The old patch Lanedale skip. It is so nice. Hey, what the hell? Wait, there were two avatars. What the fuck? Interesting. Yeah, they both dropped nothing. So, yeah, it doesn't look like anything's different about here. Where do you normally get the Earth Tree Seal? Okay, so I guess straight into Gold Free. Okay, Godfrey looks normal. Yeah, this doesn't look changed. He's Melania as well. And Prince of the Omen. He got promoted from Prince to King then. I guess then that Melania's music is just one big placeholder. Like anything where music isn't finalised. Okay, that seems to have a different timing on it. So I also kept getting caught by it in the Margit's fight. Okay, please give me a stagger. I'll probably go phase two quite soon. But this guy is never going to stagger. Like, how many charge R2s do I need to do to get you to stagger? Okay, I guess the Prince of the Omen is just unstaggerable. We could go straight to Fire Giant, or we could go and do, like, Castle Soul. Oh, that's not a Somber Seven. Apparently the Kindred is still interested. Or this Scarab also doesn't exist. It seems Mountaintops has a severe lack of scarabs. Millicent! I'm searching for a fort to the west of the ruins. I'm searching for a fort to the north of the ruins. Indeed. What? She I'm said north, right? I okay, I guess Millicent's a bit unsure of exactly where the fort is. I could go Morgoth's Cursed Sword. No, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Looks like we're going through the castle the normal way. Yeah, as long as I can get rid of these two dudes. Oh no. Oh, and this guy can teleport into the arena. Oh, how cool. Because fuck you. Oh, and he's back. There we go. Very cool. Dude, I don't want to fight this guy whenever I want to attempt the boss just because he teleports into the arena. Like, oh my god. Let me play the fucking game. What the fuck this shit. I have a better idea. Hmm. 
much better solution. Because I'm not dealing with Niles bullshit. There we go, Consecrated Snowfield. Angel River Main. Okay, time to do like 10 minutes of running to get to Estelle. Oh, there's ancestral spirits down here. Wait, who the fuck are you? Oh my god, they look really different. Wait, look at them. Okay, I'm assuming that's Scarlet Rot. Yeah, there are none of the, like, kindred of rot people here. Yep. Oh my god, that procced instantly. Misbegotten of the Void. Oh, and he's already meteoring. What the fuck? Okay, dude is teleporting before I could even get to him. But what the fuck? I haven't even gotten to him yet and he's done two meteors. He's doing it a third time. Jeez, finally a laser. I also don't know what he's doing right now. Also, I didn't know you could bleed Estelle because I'm pretty sure I got a bleed there. Okay, down he goes. Let's go and do Fire Giant. Please don't be Omega Tanky. Yeah, I'd call that pretty tanky. Oh boy, we're gonna be here a while. Cool game. Oh my god, that hurts. Honestly, this isn't going too bad. Like, it should be about to hit phase two. Yep. Yo, and the stagger. Right in the eyeball. That did nothing. Okay, almost done. Or oh, one hit. Okay, there's Fire Giant. Well, goodbye, Melina. Oh, doomed Farum Azula. Not crumbling. Now, I think these guys are going to be tough. They haven't yet had the patch that nerfs multi-boss AI. But how much damage do I do? That's a respectable amount. First god Oh my god. Normally, you need to kill like three, three and a half god skins to win this fight. I've already killed one, and the bar is like a fifth of the way down. Dude, you have to kill so many. Okay, please just die. They also resummon each other very quickly. Like, normally, you at least get some time to fight a 1v1. But yeah, he's already resummoning. Oh yeah, that's GG right there. Okay. I'm gonna be honest, that was a lot easier than I expected. Wait, what the fuck? There's lightning. Who's shooting lightning? Uh, right. I can get the Somber 10 here. Wait, what? Did I not get that? Oh, in 1.0, that's a regular smithing stone. Come on, one more hit. Okay, this looks very different. Okay, time for Fortizax. And I'm just going to say, I do not like this boss. There's way too much, like, lightning and death like bullshit going on. Ah, ha, ha, that hurts. Surely he's about to phase two. Hello, phase two? Mate, you have no health left. Are you going to go into your second phase? Okay, here we go. 
But the music hasn't switched. Which is a shame, because Fort Sax's Phase 2 music is fucking incredible. Goodbye, Fortisax. Time for the big fuck off two headed dragon. Oh, good. Oh my god, that's a lot of health. But yes, yeah, stop moving. Big damage. Sure. And here's where it gets bullshit. Massive laser. This fight would be really cool in my opinion if he just didn't teleport this often. Oh, big attack. Oh, it doesn't stop the music. Stop flying away. Thank fuck for that. Absolute piece of shit, boss. Okay, holy fuck, that does not suck. Where's the teleporter? How else am I supposed to get to Mogwin? Yes, there's Farway's Quest, but before, I think, 1.03, Farway's Quest requires online. Wait, I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> okay, don't, don't mind me, I'm an idiot. I was looking for the teleporter in the complete wrong location. There we go. There's Mogwin. <laughs> I haven't been into this section of Mogwin in probably over a year. Oh my... What the fuck is this bird doing? I should not have come here. This place fucking sucks. Oh my. Okay, I'm gonna leave you be. Yeah, that is one of the worst places in the game. Holy shit. Okay, we are back in Nokron for one very important item. The most important item of them all. I mean, we have to try it out. Hello, friend. No, fuck it. He doesn't appear to be very good. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's very good at plus zero. That was massive repose damage. Okay, so far none of this has looked changed. This just looks like the normal final mod fight. Go! Go again! Holy shit, that got a lot of bleed on him. GG. Easy boss. I'm assuming this dude is a boss. Oh, no, he isn't. Okay. Oh my God, I'm going to two-shot him. Sorry, three-shot. Okay, that dude wasn't a bo Wait, how many of them aren't bosses then? And none of the Knights Cavalry's bosses. I guess they just, like, made a mini-boss and then just decided, you know what, let's just make them a normal boss. I guess they all got promoted. So he still gives blood. He only gave 4k. I do you find that really interesting then, that they basically promoted an entire enemy type from, like, regular enemy to boss? Wait, those are blue. Yeah, that actually looks really cool at night. I think they actually look better than the yellow. Hello, Mikla and Melania. I'm sure we'll be meeting one of you in about 10 minutes time. Okay, let's just grab the shortcut. Okay, Loretta, what have you got for us? Oh, good stagger. Can you bleed Loretta? Okay, that answers that question. Holy fuck, Mimic Tear actually survived. And Loretta got fucking obliterated. Also, the chest isn't here. Hello, Millicent. Good to see you here. Yeah, I think the Ragged Armor set has 
just about outstayed its welcome. Screw it, we're just going without the helmet. Okay, is the Royal Revenant fuck alley in this version? I need to see. This is for science. Yeah, it looks like it still exists. Yep, they're just as bullshit in this version as they are in the final version. Yep. That hasn't changed. <laughs> Here we go. We can assist Millicent or challenge Millicent. And I think there's only one option. I swear this Ash of War... It, holy fuck. Oh my fuck. Millicent, are you sure you need my help for this? Are you sure you can't do this alone? <laughs> Dude, what the fuck is this? Okay, there's one. Okay, Millicent, I need you to stay alive for me. Okay, where's the last one? Oh no, that's all of them. She got one. Accessory name. Oh, my favourite talisman. There she goes. There she goes. It is time for Melania on version 1.00. Oh boy. Okay, what's your name? I am Melania. Blade of Mikola. There we go. How different are you? What, what, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Wait, she can do this at any time? Whoa, 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 whoa. She can waterfowl whenever the fuck she wants. Oh, God. She can normally only do that when she's lost at least a quarter health. But I guess it's just whenever she wants. Oh, I'm getting my ass beat. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> she's full HP. <laughs> and I've used like eight of my heals. Oh, dear fuck. Wait, what the fuck is this? Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Is that her old waterfowl? It's definitely not as fast as current waterfowl. Okay, it turns out she is very different. And by different, I mean she can now do the really annoying move whenever the fuck she wants. And she also has a second version of the really annoying move. She hasn't even done a waterfowl this phase. Are you going to do it or not? Nope. Well, Hitler's phase one. <laughs> Didn't even waterfowl. Okay, what we got? You realise you have a waterfowl dance, right? But like, Melania. You know that, like, big fuck you attack? You do know you have it. Oh, there we go. Fuck. Rip Hitler's. Also, that didn't build up Scarlet Rot. That was just regular waterfowl. Given that they got rid of the old waterfowl to compensate, they just decided to add a fuck you by making the phase two one do Scarlet Rot. Oh, goodbye, Melania. G fucking G. So she basically showed off all the cool shit and then just let me beat her. Let's go. Beast Pasta. Oh, you can't jump that. Cool. This is probably my favourite boss in the game. Right, let's go, Malekith. Uh, okay, Phase 2 music doesn't exist. Holy fuck, that purple looks so cool. Also, holy fuck, Black Flame hurts. That purple looked so fucking cool. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Dude, can we get this purple back? Dude, can we get this purple back into the game? This looks so fucking sick. Okay, that was my fault. Okay, see ya. You don't get to stay because your music was wrong. You know, I think we could maybe do one more weapon change. Okay, so let's get Malaketh's Black Blade. Now, let's also drip myself out. 
This is my favourite armour set in the game. Let's try going with 37 Vigor. So we just have three bosses left. And we're going all out with the Malaketh build. I hope this actually does damage. The only issue is it's holy, which against Radigan and Elden Beast might not be very good. Oh, he just starts fighting straight away. Okay then. What the fuck? Okay, that just explodes instantly on this version. Wait, there's no stake of Marika. Oh, fuck you. There we go. Jeez, that fight took eons. So I, I was so, like, scared about attacking him at all that fight because of the fact there's no stake of Marika. Okay, Godfrey. One of the best bosses in the game. And he is kind of getting melted. Jeez, we're already at Horolu. Oh, wait, is this one health bar just for Godfrey? I guess he's not getting melted then. Okay. Okay, this guy has a lot of HP. Oh, holy fuck, this guy has a lot of HP. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay, it doesn't help that colossal weapons take forever to get back up. If I could get a stagger, that would be very nice. All that. The repose to finish. Okay, that was cool. So I think the only change was the amount of health. And he has a cool laugh to go with it as he dies. Okay, final boss with a holy damage weapon. Stone platform. Yeah, I'm, I'm nervous to see how much damage this does. Yikes. That is not a lot. Especially for a colossal weapon that takes five business days to swing. Weapon art. Fuck. There we go. Almost to Elden Beast. Let's see if I can get the Black Flame debuff off. Uh, I think that worked. That hit me. There's a hitbox on that. Okay, can you let me hit you though? It'd be really cool if you let me actually catch up to you. But I think this fight would be pretty cool if they just let you use Torrent. Because LMB spends so much time just running the fuck away from you. But I'm out of heals. And guess what attack is next? Oh my god, that does a lot of damage if it hits me. I might be dead though. And apparently that travels 10 miles. Cool. Cool fight. Cool boss. <laughs> How did that fucking hit me? Such an incredible boss. Holy fuck. Spammy motherfucker. Dude, if I could get one stagger at any time during this fight, I would be completely fine. Dude, can you stop spamming this attack? Yes, okay. Oh my fucking god, that fight was even worse than it currently is. Well, I guess we're done then. Bit of a shame to end it with some absolute bullshit, but... So summon Rani. Also, the credits music is different as a final thing. Like, it's not even just straight up the Godskin theme. It sounds like a different arrangement. 
we need this Godskin version. 